Alright, so one thing I forgot to mention in this video, just a quick uh, note beforehand, is that this version of the Cobra is not meant to kind of replace the one that I did before, the larger scale one. I do an explanation in the video, um, you know, about the scale, and yeah, this isn't, you, like most of the time when I make a new video of the same vehicle, it's meant to kind of update it and, you know, be the new version of it. This isn't meant to be a new version of the one I made a couple of months back, you know, the large Cobra. This is just a different way to, to do it, um, but it's basically the same kind of design style. It's meant to kind of work alongside it. That's actually not true. It's not. It's not meant to go alongside it at all. It, it's meant to. It, it gives you more options because the large scale Cobra it doesn't really work with the other vehicles. So this one's more based to go to scale with the other vehicles, but less detail. Whereas the other one is, you know, vice versa. But yeah. Anyway, on with the video. Hey guys, it's me. So today we're doing a tutorial on the uh, new UNSC Cobra. So as you can probably already tell, compared to the last version, this is very small. Um, I have a kind of explanation for that. The old one was very out of scale in terms of um, with the other vehicles, but there is really with this vehicle in uh, in general, there is a limit to how big or small you can make it. Um, I mean, in terms of big, you can make it as big as you want, but in terms of small, um, if you want it to get to the exact scale, it's kind of um, well, to scale with these other vehicles, it's kind of impossible. And the reason for that is because of the tyres. Um, most of the vehicles in the Halo universe are bigger um, you know, than this. And any that are similar to this size normally use um, treads or you know, they levitate or anything like that. But this one, it uses tyres. And so the only two tyre designs that I have managed to find are just using a single block or using this 2x2. Two as well as using the 3x3, which is what I used before for the other Cobra. <clears throat> However, with the other Cobra, that one comes out too big, and with that, I used that in my first model for the Cobra, and it came out too small. So this one is kind of a middle ground. You can't get any bigger than that, and if you try and use these and then make the vehicle itself bigger but the tire is the same size, it's going to look funky. So, yeah, this one is actually pretty much true scale um, in terms of, you know, with the player. Uh, it's nine blocks long, which is just about uh, as close as you can get to eight meters in game. So yeah, and I actually did a normal version and a lockdown version, uh, which I didn't do with the other version of the Cobra. So um, I want to quickly show you what's coming up first. So we have all that stuff's already been done pretty much, but then the Vulture, we have the Elephant and the Elephant. Oh, that one's a lockdown Elephant. Then we have the normal Elephant with the FTL drive. We have a new Rhino, uh, like this. We have a Grizzly from Halo Wars 1, and we have the Grizzly from Halo Wars 2. We have the Marauder from Halo Wars 2, and we have, finally, the Blister back. Now, the one that's been in the background of my videos for a long time has been removed, and this one takes its place. I think this one looks way better. And the other one never got finished anyway, so yeah. Anyway, starting off with layer 1 for the Cobra. You're gonna take stone brick stairs. Let me just get rid of all these. Uh, yeah, take stone brick stairs, and you're gonna put one there like that, one there like that. Oops, sorry, like that. And then a stone slab, then a gap of one, and same again, like that. Then you're gonna to come to here, leave a gap of one there, like that, and then do uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then, one second, uh, coming to here, sorry here, <laughs> you're going to do uh, one there, one there, and then one there like that, same on the other side. And that's layer one done, moving on to layer, layer Layer two, right, okay. Uh, so for this one, you're gonna do a stair there, stair there, stair there, stair there. Cobblestone wall there and there. You're gonna take some lime uh, stained clay and then two more uh, stone slabs. Put the two stone slabs on the back of that 
and then Stonebridge does facing inwards, facing inwards again. And then a line hard play there. And then you're gonna do one, two, three, and then a stone slab on the top half of that. Same again. And then here you're gonna do the inverse of what we did on the first layer. Just like that. So we get two sets of wheels like that kind of. <laughs> and then here you're just gonna do one, two, three, four. And then upside down stairs there and there. And then here you're gonna do three cobblestone walls. Yep, and that's layer two done. Okay, so for layer three, you're just gonna come to here and you're actually just gonna put um, a set of three lime there. And then do two slabs, then a stair and a stair. And then two slabs, two slabs, and a stair there, a stair there, one there, sorry, there, and one there. Same again on the other side. Yep. Then come into here, you're going to do one, two, three, uh, one second. Uh, okay. Four, then one there, like that. Same again on the other side. Then you're going to put one that way, so it kind of goes at an angle, but you know it doesn't connect to anything. And then one, two, three. Same again. And then a slab there, and a slab there. And then finally two slabs there, and three stained clay there. Okay, so that's layer three done. Okay, so for this layer, you're just going to come to this block here, do three with your sign stain clay and then upside down stair, then a stair facing that way and a stair facing that way, then do three slabs on the top half of that block. Those are representing our uh, railgun cannon things. Then a line uh, clay there, line clay there, upside down, upside down, and then double and two singles are there and that's layer one two three four done so yeah so for the final layer you're just going to come to this upside down there put a slab and then a stair there two uh lime and then a stone brick stair and then an upside down stone brick stair there now coming to here, you're gonna do a slab and a slab. And then one facing that way, one facing that way, just like that. Then another one facing that way and that way, and then two more on the back. And that's it for the uh, standard version of the Cobra. We'll go into the lockdown mode and we'll do it as an entirely new build, I think. Okay. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna start off just as we did with the last one, just doing the upside down stairs like that and then one there, and then leave a gap of one, and then one there like that. However, we're gonna put a cobblestone wall here and here. Okay, and then leave a gap of one like that, then do three, and then one, two, three, uh, four. Okay, and then get an end rod. That's a banner, not an end rod. Ugh, end rod. Put that there. Actually, no. Put it. Put a uh, stone brick stair here and here. And then put the end rod on that side, just like that. Okay, and then come out to here. Put a stair there and a stair there. And then a stone slab there. Do the same on the other side. Like that. And then a, a double slab there, double slab there. And a stone brick stair facing outwards like that. Okay, and let me just check this real quick. And then four wall 
wheels like that. Those are representing the wheels that are turned onto the ground. I couldn't really do that with, uh, with stairs. Uh, so, yeah. You know. Anyway, that's the first layer done. Okay, so for this layer, you want to put a stair facing inwards on both sides. And then one facing kind of backwards like that. Then one facing that way and one facing that way. Okay, and then you're also going to put a double slab here and here and then put an end rod there and there okay and then put stone brick stairs facing inwards on both sides then you're going to do one two one one and then one two three four okay take three cobblestone walls put them there like that and then put two upside down stairs there and there. Okay. And finally, for that layer, uh, and one thing I've just realized is that I forgot to do that here. <laughs> I'm going to put an upside down slab there and there. Not upside down, but you know what I mean. And then finish off those wheels here and here and then a slab here and a slab here. And that's the second layer done. So I think this layer sticks mostly to the uh, original model. You're gonna put two stairs there and a uh, full brick there. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then five. Just like that. And then here, just do two slabs. And then coming to here, you're just going to do one, two, three, and then put that stair there like that. And same again. So you should basically have that. And then finally, just a slab on each side. And that's it for that layer. Okay, so coming to here, you're going to do one, two, three with your uh, sign stapler. Then a stone brick stair, and then three, uh, three things, you know, slabs, <laughs> and then upside down there, upside down there, and lime, lime to the back, to the back, three slabs, and then three slabs of uh, stone brick. Okay, and then just coming to here, you're gonna do one there, and leave gap, and one there. Just like that. Okay, so found the final layer. Okay, final layer, you're just gonna do one, two, three, oop, wrong material. One, two, three, four, five. So that one should just overlap over the end. And then one there like that. Then a slab, a slab, one there, one there. Same again. Uh, do lime, hard and clay there and there. Okay. And then uh, two slabs, and also one there, and one there. And since this is just a little kind of extension on the previous layer, you're just going to do one, two, three slabs there. And that's that for the lockdown cobra. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Uh,